Visiting the sacred house in the Kaaba is the wish of every Muslim. The process is of itself cleansing, but also requires a sincerity of intention. O oh Allah, we do all things seeking your pleasure. Guide us to the straight path. Al-Masjid Al-Haram, the spiritual and geographical home of Islam, and all those earnestly seeking the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following the perfect life and sunnah of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For those who travel from near and far lands, there is only joy and a warm welcome of peace and the awe-inspiring city landscape that is the birthplace of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you walk in its glorious streets, the sun awakens your body and the sights and smells of fragrances, markets and the mountains of Makkah encircle the vicinity delighting your soul. The concentration of religion and its potent symbolism is proudly on display. Walking humbled towards its great doors, the masjid stands in all its glory inviting all to the peace and tranquility that awaits all its visitors. The anticipation heightens as the self comes to know that the moment of union is close. The blessed and purified house of Allah within reach, within sight. You enter and feel an easy calming breeze and the heavy heat of the day is removed. Looking around the throngs of pilgrims from all corners of the world mesmerize you with the variety of their ethnicity and complexions, all transfixed worshipping Allah. Proceeding with the gaze lowered in respect, you hear the calls of Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik. Finally, my eyes fall upon it. I see the roofless courtyard and the cube structure, clothed in rich black and embroidered in gold, standing majestic and dignified. I finally see the Kaaba. An emotive moment to cherish and treasure. Your soul stands in servitude to Allah, a magical image, an ancient image, manifesting the true history of mankind, framed between an effortless and continuous human wheel, the Tawaf. Above it in the heavens are 70,000 angels circumambulating. I join the worshippers and step into the vortex. The crowds shift and flow around me, orbiting this beautified house in the sanctuary that is the Mataf. A wall of unmoving bodies also cling, cheeks firmly pressed against the sides of the Kaaba, beseeching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We say, Rabbana dhalamna anfusana wa illam tawfir lana wa tarhamna wa nakunanna min al khasirin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirata hasanatan wa qina adhab al nar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our efforts and our visit and grant us al firdaus al ala. Ameen.